Hey everybody, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing the 2012 action film Dread. So this was recently reprinted from Lionsgate. It was originally done in 2021 and now it's back. So I was finally able to pick this up and get the steelbooks. I'll show that real quick off because you know we love physical media here on this channel. So there's the steelbook. This thing's pretty awesome. And I'd been meaning to watch this. So I watched Doom, <laughs> uh, the movie with The Rock and Carl Urban, and that got me thinking about Dread. And then about a week later, I went in to Best Buy to pick up another film. I can't even remember what I was picking up uh, at the time. And I saw this bad boy up on the shelf, and I was like, you know what? I gots to have it. I gots to have it. So I picked it up. Anyway, this is an amazing transfer, awesome movie, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're branching out beyond horror on this channel. We're going to do a little more sci-fi, a little bit of action. We're going to do what I want, and that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so let's get right into it. So this has Carl Urban, Olivia Thurnberry, and Lena Headley, and I really liked it. So I love cyberpunk. I'm cutting my own self off discussing this film, but I love cyberpunk stuff. When I went to watch this movie in 2012, I was just like, okay, I like Judge Dredd. I'm not a massive fan of that movie. I think it's cool but it doesn't really move the needle for me. I think it's fine, even overrated a little bit. I think it's just a fine movie. I don't know if there's like anybody out there like, oh my God, that movie's incredible. This movie is far better for me in every, every way over the original Judge Dredd with Sylvester Stallone. They're very different films, obviously, but the concept is the same. You have judges here, you make a city one is the city that they're in, and this movie is Badass and brutal. So the double B's we got here. Badass and brutal. And man, I love all of this movie. The action is cool. The drugs in this, like the slow-mo type drug that they've got here add some cool effect. There is some like wonky CG. This is from 2012. But other than that, which I can kind of look past as a whole because the film is so awesome, Carl Urban does a great job while not even showing his face. I just really like him. He's great in The Boys and I really like him in this and he's fun and do. Yeah, I really like this movie. So we're following the judge and Olivia's Kara Anderson is basically a rookie. She didn't pass the test, but she is a mutant as they kind of say. She's a psychic and so they want to bring her along to kind of see if she can make it on the streets out here. Them streets are hard, especially in Mega City 1, you know, where uh, fucking people are just crazy and they just shoot the fuck out of people. And man, it's like, they, they say there's a crime committed like every second or something like that or every minute and like they can't get to all of them, they get to about 6% of them, which is crazy. You think crime rates are bad now? Uh, Mega City 1 crime is uh, through the fucking roof. I love, like I said, all the action in this movie. There's, there really isn't like a huge plot going on. There's basically that. They're going in to kind of question this person about these three murders that happened at this big building. And Lena Headley's character is basically the crime lord over all this and the mastermind of this drug and is trying to peddle it throughout the sectors of this city. And so they go in there to do that and they lock them down and they try to kill the judges. And it's basically a little bit of the raid, you know, where they're stuck in this location and they've got to get out. So I love the raid. Maybe we'll cover that at some point. Who knows? But I love the raid and I like this style of one location and you just have to escape and it's basically them kind of going up through the ranks and then the crazy shit that happens involved in this building. Overall, the action's great. I mean, I don't know that I can praise this enough. I think it's a little bit underrated. I know the people that like it really like it, but I don't know that it's like a universally loved film. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just missing that. In my group of friends in circle. I, I don't know many people that talk about it. And maybe I'm just in the wrong circles, you know? Maybe I need a bigger circle of people discussing cool films, you know? That's my problem, you know? That's why I got on YouTube, so I can uh, connect with people that have good taste in films. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, Anderson is a great character. There's some cool moments where like Carl Urban is doing his thing as the judge and he's just like brute forcing his way through some of these conversations where she's like, no, I don't need that. I'm just going to fuck up this dude through his mind. And that's what she does, especially the one like guy that they're bringing who's like the witness to all this and they're trying to get him. She does some weird shit to him and uh, it's cool. And then he also does some stuff and she's like, yeah, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I can't say enough about this film. I love this movie a lot. I highly recommend you watch this film if you haven't. And if you haven't picked up the physical media release from Lionsgate, I highly recommend that. It is in print now. So Best Buy, check out the website or whatever. I'm sure you get it on Amazon, wherever it is sold. But I highly recommend that you pick it up if you're into 4K physical media and steelbooks. All right, so that's pretty much all I've got. Again, I'm trying to branch out and cover some like cool 
sci-fi and action stuff that I like here on the channel, uh, along with all the horror stuff that I do. We're gonna mix it up, maybe like 25% of that stuff, and then the rest is gonna 75% horror, you know? I don't know what the right mixture is, We'll find out. You'll probably let me know what the great mixture is. Anyway, subscribe to the channel for more reviews. We've got a lot coming. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews than I typically do. We're going to be pounding these things out. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate you guys watching. Comment down below what you think about Dread. If there's a film that you think that I would be interested in covering horror or action or sci-fi, let me know down in those comments below. I'd love to interact with all of you. And I'm going to leave some videos for you at the end so you can kind of see some other reviews, some 4K stuff. And that's all I've got. Thanks for stopping by and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.